Today I'm going to be reading you this story. What do you think this story is called? Have a little think, look at the pictures, they might give you a clue. I'll tell you. Snip, snap, croc. In a faraway land in Africa, where the sun shines all day long, there is a big river called the Nile. One morning, lying lazily on its sandy banks, was... Snip, snap, croc. That's the crocodile. She swished her tail and sang out to all the creatures on the shore. Her crocodile voice made them shiver. My name is Snip, Snap, Croc, and I'm so fine with these big sharp teeth of mine. All of them go snip, snap, snip. Come too close and I'll nip, nip, nip. In the tall tree, Mama Baboon shivered and told her baby, don't go near Snip, Snap, Croc, all right? She'll eat you up with one big bite. So listen to Mama and stay close by, for I love you more than the mountain high. Oh, there's the mountain, how high it is. In the bushes, Mama Meerkat told her little ones, Oh, stay away from that crocodile who calls to us from the banks of the Nile. Don't wander off, keep in my sight, for I love you more than the stars so bright. Let's count how many meerkats there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and mummy makes eight. And in the long grass, Mama Lion told her bouncy little cubs, it's lunchtime soon, a nasty snip snap would eat you up for a tasty snack. So don't stray far from my mama's side, for I love you more than the ocean wide. Back on the sandy bank, where the midday sun was blazing hot, snip snap croc heard a little humming noise. And then underneath her tummy, the ground began to move. What do you think's happening? What could that be? Snip, snap, croc moved aside and began to dig. Out of the ground came a clutch of big white eggs. <gasps> and from the eggs came a sound. Tap, tap, tap. And out of each egg came the tip of a tiny little tooth. Tap, tap, tap. Inside each egg, something was using its little tooth to tap its way out. What do you think it could be? I think it could be crocodiles, baby crocodiles. Snip, snap, croc. Then all of a sudden, one, two, three, four, five, six, and more and more baby crocodiles came wriggling, jiggling onto the shore. Snip, snap, croc, counted each one and every one. When she had finished, she was so full of happiness that she swished her huge tail back and forth, back and forth, and cried out, Hooray! Hooray! 23 babies born today. Oh, she looks like she's almost smiling. Baby Baboon, the baby meerkats and the two little lion cubs watched from the safety of the riverbank. They could not believe their eyes one by one. Snip, snap, croc popped each baby into her mouth. <gasps> oh, mama, come quick, cried baby Baboon. Cried the baby meerkats. Oh, mama! Cried the lion cubs. Just look! Look what's happening. I wonder why 
she's doing that. Snip Snap Croc is eating her babies. But Mama Lion, Mama Meerkat and Mama Baboon knew better. They knew that Snip Snap Croc had a secret. This is what Snip Snap Croc did. She waddled down to the riverside, opened her huge mouth and very slowly and very carefully popped each baby into the water. Look, we're getting into the water. Then Snip Snap Croc called out, all riverbank creatures, listen to me. Stay away from my babies, 23. Or by the sky above and the earth beneath, I will snap you up with my big sharp teeth. Mama Snip Snap Croc told her babies, Don't stray far from your Mama Croc, for there are creatures who would eat you up. Stay close by me and no harm you'll meet. For I love you more than the river deep. And Mama Baboon, Mama Meerkat and Mama Lion all sighed happily. Whew! They knew that although Snip Snap Croc was fierce and dangerous, she wanted to keep her babies safe, just as they did their own. And they knew she loved each and every one just as much as they did their own. Mountain high, star bright, ocean wide and river deep. The end.